The probabilities of a successful marriage are known to be much greater if both the husband and wife are united in their religion, language, culture, and ethnic background. Travis Wayne Goodsell, we've got uh, news from last night on uh, Brad Wilcox's update. And it frustrates me that I have to do this because I stayed up late yes, last night <clears throat> doing research on a bombshell video for you guys. And uh, we need to get this out of the way. Hi. Hi. Uh, the Black Student Union at BYU uh, has uh, confronted Brad Wilcox. No fight broke out, but Mormons were trying to accuse the Black Student Union of wanting to fight, to force their way into class to get them, to corner them. That's disturbing. Those white BYU students are not getting it and are purposely doing what I did in last night's video before I found and did the research on the bombshell video. <clears throat> now, I hope that the Black Student Union is not reverse racist. Reverse racist is where they vilify all whites for the actions of specific whites who are racist. And uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center defines racism as vilifying another ethnic group. And so I hope the Black Student Union is not reverse racist. That it's all about them and that they have no interest in providing rights for those who are white. Now I can understand I'm some old white guy criticizing the church. I however do have conversations with those who uh, claim to be uh, black on my YouTube channel and I don't think any of them are from the Black Student Union. Kwaku, for example, never reaches out never responds. I've even reached out to him. I've even done videos about him. And he never responds. It's always others who do it on his behalf. So it's not that I don't want dialogue as the Black Student Union wanted to have dialogue with Brad Wilcox. <coughs> I wanted to have dialogue with Kwaku about him being black and Mormon and about what the hell was he thinking that plagiarism is proof of the truth of the Book of Mormon. <laughs> and my having given him the key of translation and he just threw it away. <laughs> So, from my perspective, I see only humans. <clears throat> but I would hope that black Mormons don't dismiss my channel because they see a white guy. I hope they're not doing that. I hope black ex-Mormons are not dismissing my channel because I'm a white guy. You see where I'm getting? That's reverse racism. Dismissing somebody because they're white and 
there have been certain people who have victimized blacks and, and this is this is a common thing and I've had to deal with it myself with police officers and, and Mormons after being victimized by certain individuals because there is that tendency to think that the whole system is corrupted so when you have a bad date and you're victimized there is the tendency to think that all women or all men are like that and so you, you want to protect yourself and and be uh, inclusive or exclu ex exclusive <coughs> and retreat into yourself rather than getting back up on the horse and trying again for dating for example but uh, uh, it, it, it's not good for the white students to make accusations that the black student union was trying to take away Brad's agency and were a, a forceful, they used the word force into his classroom and uh, it, the video shows they purposely waited till his class was over and so you can see how Mormons lie to protect the church to protect their own who are criminal Helaman chapter 6 their God. Mormons, you're not supposed to use the bad examples of the, the Book of Mormon. And so, <coughs> uh, Nate Beard, our bird, is the uh, organizer's leader, uh, and uh, they waited outside of his classroom on Friday to have a dialogue with him. And I've told you, and this is why I'm confident they're not listening to my videos, and I hope it's not for reverse racism, <coughs> is because you can't have a dialogue with those who are racist, sexist, and bigoted. You can't remain Mormon and hope that the church finally gets it and changes. They're a religion. They're pushing religious freedom, which means they don't want to change and they want to be exempt from the law for non-discrimination specifically. They want to deny people rights in the church and church's properties and church's businesses. The Colorado Baker case, the California Baker case, Prop 8 of California. Yeah, the church wants to discriminate in all church entities. Not just religion, but in business. The schools are a business. They want to discriminate. As blacks, they're racist. They want to discriminate. They don't want Brad Wilcox punished. They don't want him fired. They don't want him removed from his church position or his membership in the church. Do you not get it? And so as Mormons, you have to make a decision. You can't stay and demand change. You can't stay hoping that they'll eventually figure it out. That God will eventually inspire a prophet who will be no longer racist. It's a false hope. The church isn't true. You have to leave. Like the rest of us have already left. Which is why I do my videos. To help you out of the church by telling you the truth. Women, you have the most power and you're not using it, Kate Kelly. <laughs> the 
they used you as a sacrificial offering. But guess what they did after sacrificing you? They tried to compromise. They didn't change, they're still sexist. But they're trying to change. But it's a fraud. They've got other things planned to subject women to. Polygamy, specifically. And so if women would just stand up to the church and say, we are out. We will not be your slaves. We will not be your wives. We demand you stop. But you'd leave so that you cripple them. You do not understand how much power you have over this patriarchy who fears you so much that they want to control you because of their fear and subject you because of that. <clears throat> and so when they finally confronted Brad Wilcox, um, Brad Wilcox says he wasn't going to have a dialogue with them. He blew them off. It's a Friday. It's a long weekend. And he said, not having us here, but I'll get in touch with you. Yeah, he blew them off. The church protected him, but somebody violated the church and confronted him. Good, but you're not going to get him to change. The church prophets support him. He's got the Jesus card. If you remember me talking about I having the Jesus card at one point in time, but I did not abuse my Jesus card. It was other people who wanted to abuse me by having the Jesus card. <clears throat> Uh, apparently, Bert, Bert is the one who talked about the force. He says in his Instagram tweet, or Instagram post, they have said we were there to force our way in. They have this perception that we were there in violence. I saw no weapons. Again, Mormons were purposely trying to vilify blacks the black student union who were there because they were victims just like black lives matter black lives matter protest and the police came in riot gear to beat them down here you see it again at BYU <clears throat> and yes we saw the vid I saw the video K uh, KU TV 2 of Utah showed the videos you know they properly documented it you need to because you get people who make false accusations and so if there were something that were to happen that would require legal intervention a court would then show the evidence and the Mormons would be again screwed <coughs> But the church isn't true just because it has to be in order for your mental state. The church isn't true. Your mental state should already be collapsed. And you can't deal with it. So, uh, that's the update. <clears throat> Again, BYU students, the church wants you out. That's why right now they're tolerating you. But if you push this, they'll, ex they'll excommunicate you and definitely kick you out of BYU for causing a disturbance. They'll victim blame you. 
this is what I told you about when the church leaders remaining silent on this then incites Mormons see Brad Wilcox he thought he got a pass he thought it was all behind him and I'm going where's the protest and yeah, Byrd chose to do the proper and appropriate method of confronting Brad Wilcox in person. And again, you missed my video of Nelson. Nelson is a racist. I had the video clip. I kept doing it over and over and over again. YouTube attacked me to silence me. When are you guys going to learn? When are all of you going to learn the church is not true? They will not change. And they are setting things up to legally commit crime against you. To legally hurt you, harm you, destroy you like they've done to me.